Snow and Lambeau, Coach. Something about that combo that just works, like peanut butter and jelly. And we've got half a foot of the white stuff and still coming down here in Green Bay. No team means more to a city than the Packers to Green Bay. And this was the scene a few moments ago as the green and gold made their way out of the historic tunnel. They're ready to go as they get set to match up with the Washington football team. on first down. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. And him running the football is not something that defense has spent a lot of time preparing for, but this guy has a survival instinct and a knack for knowing when exactly to do it. Here's a second and two now from the 33. From the gun, here's Smith. Packer pressure, and down he goes. It's Preston Smith. He gets the sack there. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Throwing on third down, Smith. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Well, this crowd does not like that call. Understandable reaction from them. That's their team that the penalty's going against. But you and I both know they're going to take care of the quarterback. A bad time for a roughing penalty. And they get the gift of a first and 10. They'll run with McKissick. And down to the 44, five yards that time. J.D. McKissick. The That's a really Walker. nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank it's about it, five. most offenses Brings don't expect to get five yards five. on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. The snow coming down, I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken. Heavy set out there on third and one. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. That's a tremendous group effort there, because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones, talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. On first and ten, Smith. The throw taken in by Sims. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback. 
that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. Gary on the tackle. So if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, a guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. And they give this time to the tailback. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. Ball carrier. He was brought down at the eight yard line. It's a gain of a yard, and it's third down. It's been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. Out of the gun, Smith. Green Bay up to the task there in coverage and forcing a fourth down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone, and there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. So now on fourth down, Washington will hand things over to their kicker, Dustin Hopkins. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Hopkins' kick is good, and it's 3-0 Washington. Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. Following the made field goal for three, Hopkins now to kick it off. Taken in at the three. And he returns this to the 22. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. First and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 22. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. At the 21-yard line. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Snap comes at one. And this is caught. Mercedes Lewis with a grab. Roger. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. An extra man here in the secondary for Washington on third down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And the Washington pressure gets to him, and he will go down. Chase Young with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. The start of this game shaping up nicely on that visiting sideline. Yeah, how about that? You get your points on the opening drive. Then you get a big sack there on third down, and you make the home crowd go, shh. There is a hush indeed. On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. And this returnable for Sims. A 46-yard punt, eight yards on the return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. A shotgun snap for Smith. This is caught by his tight end, Logan Thomas. 
And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. And they'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one. Play action. It's Smith. To the right side and complete to Thomas. And he takes it down deep into Green Bay territory. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense. But on game day, they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. On second down now. It's Gibson, and this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. No gain on the play. A quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play car, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. That's to his running back, complete. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job here of limiting that and keeping them from the first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. And that is going to be incomplete. Washington goes for it, but it does not pan out. And the Packers D comes up with a big stop. <laughs> Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. And he gets it to the 30 when it's all said and done. 23 yards on the play. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe needs some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Now a first down carry by Jones. In on the stop, the safety, Troy Apke. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. And at a 42-yard line here and brought down there. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in the open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up a first down. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 14 yards, good for a Packer first down. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Slant to Adams. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, 
If you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Got an open man, it's Valdez Scantling. And they'll get this down to the 10. 18 yards on his first catch of the game. It's a first down. Well, remember, they tried to give him the ball and let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time, they get it to him the more conventional way, and it's much more successful as well. On first and 10, here's Rodgers. And he's going to go down, sacked back at the 13-yard line. That's Deron Payne with a sack that time. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. So first down went in the wrong direction. They're at the 13-yard line. Here's second and goal. Now the toss to Jones, running right. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Only a couple yards there, and that's going to set up a long third and goal. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Third and goal now, mere inches from Pater. Let's go, defense. Let's go, defense. From the gun, it's Rodgers. This will be caught at about the six. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A terrific job there to keep him out of the end zone. And now it'll be fourth and goal. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. And my goodness, this is incomplete. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And Washington is able to come up with a goal line stand. On first down. Gibson, and he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, he got what he could there, just trying to move forward and, and gain a little bit of yardage and create some space. You know the pressure is going to be tough defensively. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. Back-to-back -back runs. I'd say that encompassed maximum effort for minimal gain. Minimal yardage, and now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. Washington on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and seven. They hand off to their big tight end. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. Here's Tressway now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. And he's able to get it out quickly, and this is not a bad kick here. That'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. The Packers ready to take over offensively. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they the feeling that they had going on offense, they want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, that, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. 
Operating from the gun. Rodgers. He'll get this one to the Golden Domer. St. Brown. Rodgers. That catch good for five. It's third down. St. Brown. That's a gain of five. Brings up third and four. From the gun, Rodgers, and that is incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield. They had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Here's J.K. Scott now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. The look at Washington as they come onto the field. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. Now a first down throw, it's Smith. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the nine. The safety, Adrian Amos, comes crashing in for the sack. How about that one? The so-called little guys putting the pressure on. That was a strong safety. When I was in college, we often called that a lightning blitz. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Another try after the first down sack. Smith buying time to his left. Now he'll pull it down. A nice job of eluding the pressure there, scrambling for 11. Partner was a definite passing down, but he was able to leak out and pick up some good yardage, even though the coverage was excellent. Maybe it's not exactly how they drew it up, but he still got a big chunk of yardage on second down. Washington on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and eight. Operating from the gun, Smith. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. It's always a goal, and it's really nice defensively when you can rally to the football and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Force an incompletion and force another punch. Here's Tressway now, as he's on to punt for Washington. Pretty good punt, but a nice 13-yard return. But now the Packers get set to go. It hasn't gone particularly well for them. That's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic, meaning you don't have to go deep down the field. Maybe you hit them on those short passes on the perimeter. Make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner and get out of the way. Don't cause any extra stress on your offense. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Looking to throw on second down. Rodgers, that's caught. It's Robert Tanya, the tight end. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. They'll run on first down. Jones. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And it'll bring up a second and 14. From the gun. Rodgers caught on the right side by Jones. 
And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, the stats that matter on this play don't help a team very much, unless, of course, you're playing defense. If you're getting points per reception, you got a reception, but yeah. no yardage. Great job by the defense, though. They, they read through that one. They read through it, gave up no yardage, and people got credit for tackles. Pretty good deal. He'll drop this underneath for Jones. And he will be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. They'll get 11, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. I think that we all figured when he caught it that short of the marker that the defense almost relaxed and said, we got this covered. And then all of a sudden, space to run after the catch. And now they're screaming, somebody get him down. Fortunately, they got to him and forced the fourth down. And the 13-year man puts it through, and that will tie us at 3-3. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point, or in this case, a field goal. kick is away. Danny Johnson returning. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. Smith and this will be incomplete physical play on the football there and it's second down normally being a big bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield go up and make the catch take the hit and pick up yardage but in this case the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp so second down and 10 once again they'll go from the 40 to throw again Smith that's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 43. 17 yards that time at a Washington first. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Forced out to his left. And he's going to keep it here. He's getting, oh, it's out. Smith lost it. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one.
A kicker fest so far. All points via field goals. They're hoping to change that right here. Here's Smith. And he'll get this to Antonio Gibson complete. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. So they've been in the red zone three times and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? To throw again on second down. Smith. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. Logan Thomas there to make the grab. And Washington has taken the lead. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. The point after, no gimme in the snow, but it's up and good. And the lead is now 10-3. to three. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And this carries into the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. The Packers offense now. They get ready to head back onto the field. Inside of a minute left in the half, does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but what influences me even more it's who I've got running my football team out on the field and the weapons around him. Can he make a play? Can he get into someone that we're going to trust to take care of the ball? If that's the case, I might push it a little bit here and try and get something before the half runs out. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure, if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Able to find Lazard. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers over the middle, and it's incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. A lot of times, just that first read that you have, maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Throwing again, Rodgers. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Brings up third and six. Rodgers again now. 
He's got the hook up to Lazard. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This just a 35-yard attempt from the left hash. And Crosby puts it through, and that'll bring him back within four. So yes, they'll still be down going into intermission, but the deficit is now made even smaller, very manageable. Yeah, and if nothing haywire happens here in his last couple of precious seconds, they will go into the locker room with a nice bounce in their step, having gotten a little bit closer on the scoreboard. So just eight ticks remaining here in the first half as they'll kick this one away. Returning it, Johnson. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. We have not seen much on offense from either side. These last few drives, it has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. Well, they always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to, and if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. I have to think a major focus of the halftime meetings had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that, Totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Now, I know it's an emotional game, Charles. You can't do that. And when you get into your film sessions and you argue your case with your coaches, that's exactly what they say at the end. You just can't do it. It costs your team. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Now that'll be caught by St. Brown. Now he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 22 more yards there and another first down. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now Rodgers. Got a man, it's Tanyan complete. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is gonna be the result every time. 
Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. On first down. It's Jones, and effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Again, it's Jones, and he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. An eight-yard touchdown run. And once again, the Packers, they're back out in front. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through. That's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or no? It, 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 it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. will make it into the end zone and he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25 yard line first possession of the second half now for Washington they trail offense first time to touch the ball in quarter three and we'll see what they can do and I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half other teams just go okay these are the sequence of plays we want to run these things worked well for us and sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away shocker <laughs> try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum see what they have up their sleeve a gain of three second down now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter yeah but i don't think it's time to abandon the running game i would say keep feeding the horse and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. On second and seven, Smith looking left side and completing it to Thomas. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. Smith on third down. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. Preston Smith picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Well, they brought the lead into this third quarter, and now they're really stepping up, setting a tone here defensively. They came right out roaring, because you had to know that in the locker room, they talked about setting that tone that you just described, continuing the dominance that they exhibited in the first half. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. It'll be a 44-yard punt, six on the return. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Watch the screen. 
A first carry now for the BYU man. It's Jamal Williams. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and 10. Sometimes you get all those big guys down there in one spot and there's just nowhere to go. And in this case, the defensive tackle used his strength and swallowed him up. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. Looking middle and that's complete. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 14 yards, good for a Packer first down. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. Three yards of the game there, second down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't it? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. The left side completion to Jones. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was just a good example of taking what the defense gave him. No one opened downfield, knew where safety valve was, swung it out to him. He gets upfield and picks up the first down. Well done all the way around. Rodgers now on first down. That's complete to Lazard. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. 20 yards on both of those plays back to back there. They are moving now. It's another first down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does. And the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. And again, it's Rodgers. And he's going to be dropped back at the 15-yard line. Jonathan Allen, the former first-round pick, getting in there to bring him down. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football, had to eat it, and ended up on the ground. What a stand this would be if they can get the stop here, third and goal. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Got a man open, it's Adams. Touchdown, Green Bay. Devontae Adams there to make the grab. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away.
Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. They'll run on first down. It's Gibson. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play, backwards a yard. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Out of the gun, Smith. Being chased out left. Even after more than a decade in the league, Smith still one to account for with his legs as he picks up a first. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. On first and 10, Smith. That one is slant to McLaurin. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. On first down, Gibson, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Gibson. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind a line of scrimmage. Brought down back at the 43-yard line. That's the end of the third quarter. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. the gun here Smith and this is going to be incomplete by the way I gotta apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth my bad I'm gonna get back over to my spot yeah we're not talking about our on-air commentary I mean what is all this extra paper I mean this is unusual for you my bad Normally you run a really tight ship what's going on here just like that incomplete pass I'm gonna try to tighten things up here for this next play this one will sail out of bounds. It'll depend on the spot here. And the side judge says that went out at the seven-yard line. Well, they got the ball already. They're not going to risk the yardage and running another fourth down. They decline it. And what was that they taught you in law school, that possession is nine-tenths of the law? I didn't go to law school. Oh, you didn't? I thought you did. Well, I I'm going to give that to you anyway. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. And it's nine-tenths of this game, too, having the football counts. You're so litigious. <laughs> now left side on the swing pass. And they'll get him down right at around the 11-yard line. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Let's go, let's go. Here we go. Come on. 
Throwing again on second down. Rodgers, he'll get this to Lazard. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Give him 18 on that play, and Green Bay has the first as well. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Rodgers to throw once more. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. Going down the middle, and it's complete. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. If they continue to throw these safe passes, who can blame them? Adams hauling it in from Rodgers. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot. Defensively, how do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mouse trap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what we said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down. Give him seven on the play, and that'll make it a second down. Second and three at the 17-yard line. Shotgun now for Rodgers. This defense can use some more of these types of plays. How about him reading it, driving on the football, and he's right there for the pass breakup. And three yards to go. The Packers on third down. Five out of nine thus far. This time it's third and three. From the gun, it's Rodgers. That's complete right around the eight. And the Packers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way, and worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Now he's got it. A gain of seven that time, second goal. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? They'll try and run it in with Jones. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Rodgers now on third and goal. 
And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. Boy, he came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out, because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback because he had no chance to block him. A 23-yard attempt. The kick by Crosby is good, and that will stretch the lead up to 13. So they get the field goal, but that was a 14-play drive to get three. It's not like you're going negative on I was. I was. Sounds like, sounds like you're thinking the three is just not that good. And people say that we're negative sometimes. So. <laughs> well, here's the deal. Getting the three is good. Obviously, you would think on a 14-play drive, you're going to get six out of it. But that type of a drive can pay dividends later on because you might wear the defense down. Here comes Johnson on the return. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. Not much there, only a yard. A gain of a yard brings up second and nine at the 30-yard line. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. A shotgun snap for Smith. He'll go underneath with this one to McKissick. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Fighting a safety valve here. That's complete. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Now a dump off here complete, and he'll get it down to the 47 here. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Now a first down throw, it's Smith. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Second and 10, Smith again. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack. Back at the 47-yard line. Dean Lowry just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Remember, throughout my career here in defensive coaches, I always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. That'll be caught. It's Steven Sims. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. 14 yards is the pick up there, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores. 
and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? Here's Smith, operating from the gun. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at the 33-yard line. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games. And now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt and in a big way. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. They'll go again to Jones, and a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll try and run for it with Jones, and he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll try to run some clock now with Jones. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. Whistles now and a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. To imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. And now time will be called here as Washington has an injured player down on the field. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. An extra man in the secondary for Washington on third down. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And to the 49-yard line, but no further. And obviously, he is well short of the first. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. But well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. Yeah, yikes. Terrible kick headed straight for the sidelines. Washington. Now Washington down on the scoreboard. 65 seconds remaining. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. Here's second and a yard. Now it's Smith. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off at the 40, and they are going to set up shot at the 40-yard line. Take over first and 10 at their own 40-yard line. 
The Packers looking to get out of here with a win as they take the knee. Rodgers will take a knee here, and that should be all she wrote. So it's all over. A Green Bay victory. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Packers are winners here as we say so long from Lambeau.